Hey there, Rodrigo here for Textualize and this is the second video in our series of building a stopwatch app with Textual. In the previous video we installed Textual, we made sure it was correctly installed and we built an application that does absolutely nothing. So it's this one, it does nothing, black screen. So now in this video what we're going to do is we're going to see how you can make things appear on the screen, essentially. In, in layman's terms, that's what we're going to do. In textual terms, what we're going to see is how you can actually compose widgets to make them show up on the screen. So in our stopwatch app, the thing we're building, we're going to have buttons, we're going to have a footer, we have a header, we have pieces of text that display the time that was already that has already elapsed. And so these things, these components that make up your interface, we call them widgets. And in textual, there's one main way of making widgets show up on the screen and I'm going to show it to you. So what you're going to do is from textual.widgets, plural, you're going to import the footer and the header. So let's start with these two widgets. And inside your application, you're going to define a method called compose. Now this is a special method because textual expects this method to be there. And this method answers the question, what widgets is this app composed of? So that's essentially the objective of this method. And so what you're going to do here is you're going to yield each widget you want to show up on the screen. So if you want a header, do you want a header in your app? Fine. So you're going to type yield header. Do you want a footer in your app? If you do, you're going to type yield footer. And that's it. This is enough. So you define your method compose and you yield the widgets you want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the application. And as you can see, there's a header here and the footer at the bottom. The footer is empty for now, but it's there. Now, control C to interrupt my application. And we have two widgets on the screen. Now, one thing I want you to note is that some widgets, in some cases, it doesn't matter the order in which you yield things. For example, I just swapped, I swapped the footer with the header, and this is not going to make the footer appear at the top and the header at the bottom, right? The footer is still at the bottom and the header is still at the top. So for the header and the footer, the order in which you yield them doesn't make a difference, all right? But for things like, say, the button, I'm going to take a button here. If you yield a button, It's going to show up here, right? Between the header and the footer, naturally. And let me, inside the button, inside the parentheses, when I'm creating the button instance, let me type something like start, because we're going to have a start button, right? And let me also yield a button that says something like stop. So the start button comes first and the stop comes last. So when you run your app, that's what you get. The start at the top and the stop next. But if you interrupt the app, and if you swap the order of these two buttons, then now the order in which you yield them matters. Okay, so the stop and the start are now swapped. You see the stop at the top and the start at the bottom. So just bear, bear that in mind, all right? And one other thing this showed you is that some widgets will take arguments when you create their instances. For example, let me just get rid of the buttons for now. The header you can use the argument show clock and set it to true if you want your header to show the current time, for example. So just keep in mind that some widgets might have arguments that will let you modify the way in which the widget behaves. So that's it for this video and I hope this made sense. We saw how to compose things on the screen. And in the next video, we're going to, well, keep learning and keep building our stopwatch app. So I'll see you there. Bye.